Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at an HK USP Expert chambered in 9mm. This is a large model with the 5.2 inch barrel. These are on a limited production from HK. So you don't see these around too often. It's a fine handgun. I've gotten a lot of great feedback when I originally featured it. People said, that thing is amazing. Now these are most commonly seen with the smaller models, the 4.25 inch barrel. That is available in 9, 40, and 45. This is in 9 millimeter and 45. You're looking at 15, 1600 bucks in today's market. But it's a nice handgun. The USP models are very well regarded. The single action trigger is pretty amazing, right at four pounds with that trigger pull. And we'll drop the magazine there. We'll do that again with a reset that is fairly short. Nice trigger pull, nice tall sights in the front, which is serrated black and serrated black rear sights. The grip texturing is really nice. All right, it's got some sandpaper-ish texturing on the grip panel and heavier texturing on the back strap and the front strap. Overall, very nice handgun. 15 round mags, okay? I bought this used, it's like brand new condition. You can see that black nitride slide, not a scratch on it. Got a killer deal. But 15 round mags, they also make a jet funnel which would extend this piece here over and then 18 round mags are available and i may go that route you really don't need the jet funnel accessory on there but it makes it nice it makes the 18 round mag a flush fitting mag this has an ambidextrous thumb safety so you move that there it locks up the trigger slide will still function but to decock it just push down on it and that is ambidextrous you may notice this unique looking rail here it's a universal mountain mounting system not much can be mounted to that there are aftermarket accessories where you can put a pick rail here you just fit it right in that slot put a pick rail it's as if it was manufactured that way very cool Overall, it's a great handgun. For a full-size handgun, it is really nice. Another thing that it has here, see that there? That's a rubber ring around the barrel. It actually hangs up uh, just a little bit. You can feel it right there. It hangs up. Makes everything nice and tight, and they do include additional rubber rings, but that'll last quite a while. Love that single-action trigger pull at four pounds. A huge trigger guard, and a trigger guard magazine release that is also ambidextrous it's rather small but it certainly drops that mag no problem 15 round mags you drop it with your trigger finger your middle finger or to reach with your thumb will will change the grip angle so typically you can keep your trigger finger here and drop it with your middle finger HK has what they call a recoil reducing system. It's kind of unique. All you do is pull the slide back a little bit, punch this pin out from the opposite direction, and then pull it out. No need to pull the trigger. There's a look at the frame. And then the guide rod is kind of neat. It has this plate over it, and the guide rod goes like that. So the 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 spring itself has some pretty good tension on there and then here is the 5.2 inch barrel don't see these around too much people love the 45 model as well and when i took it to the range it shot very well um, it took me a little bit to get on target i didn't just take it out of the case and start ringing steel it, it took me a little bit i blame part of that on the black sights and the black targets that's my fault perhaps i should have painted my targets but the rear sight is serrated black i mentioned that but it's also fully adjustable and then there is the tall front sight so it's, it's a nice handgun i i have no complaints with it i like the way it's shot once i figured it out of course i got a little bit better anyhow but we'll get it on the scale here the unloaded weight with the 15 round mag in there is one pound 14 ounces here we have 
16 rounds, okay, considering a carry round, two pounds, four and, what's that say, three quarters, yep, 36 and three quarters ounces with the HK USP Expert. An expensive gun, no doubt. Um, HK must have discontinued it because it didn't sell too well. It's very expensive. I got it for a killer deal, I have to tell you. I want to tell you, but I don't in another way because it, <laughs> it was just a good deal. Let me tell you that. This thing is like new. Put about 200 rounds through it. I can't say I have a ton of experience, but the experience I had was really, really pretty nice. They, they claim that this gun will feed, fire, and eject everything just fine, and for all intents and purposes, it did with my range visit. The overall fit, feel, and finish is all HK, and that's what I wanted in a full-size gun. So the HK USP Expert in 9mm. Would I rather have a 45? Yeah, I think I'd rather have the 45, but I got this for a killer deal. It's in excellent condition, and I like that decocking system. It's pretty cool. And everything else that it offers with a full-size handgun, I certainly have no complaints. I look forward to doing more with this. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.